The Premier has brushed off criticism from former Corruption Inquiry Chief Tony Fitzgerald. The retired judge says laws cracking down on sex offenders and bikies are arrogant and socially destructive. It comes as anger grows about the LNP's practices in Parliament, with some crossbench MPs questioning whether the committee system is working democratically. More from state political reporter Melinda Howes. He rarely weighs in to contemporary politics, but Tony Fitzgerald has a stark warning for the government and its constituents. Don't forget the past. He writes in the Courier-Mail, it is incomprehensible that any rational Queenslander could for a moment consider reintroducing political interference into the administration of criminal justice. I respect everyone's opinion, but most of all I respect the opinions of all Queenslanders who want these tough laws. It really should have been a wake-up call for the Newman government that uh, their course is a dangerous course. Mr Fitzgerald is the latest senior legal figure to criticise new sex offender and anti-bikey laws. He says the Premier shouldn't be appealing to the emotions, fears, prejudices and ignorance of the less educated citizens. We're not talking about laws to put away tuck shop ladies and school guidance officers. This is about keeping the worst of the worst behind bars. Both the bikey and sex offender laws were rushed through the last sitting of Parliament before a committee could take public submissions and hold hearings. Some are questioning whether the relatively new committee process is working or even worthwhile. The ABC has obtained figures showing 16 out of 118 pieces of legislation have bypassed the committee system since the Newman government was elected. So about 85% have been examined, but only about half the suggested amendments have been adopted. We need to get rid of this committee system because the government is abusing it, it's not working and it's a waste of resources, a waste of people's time. The reason we did what we did was because Labor governments have been too soft on crime for the last 14 years. People wanted decisive change and action and they got it. Plenty of bills were rushed through under Labor too. The Newman government should not just be picking and choosing which laws they send to the committee. Uh, it's about time that they either do it for all or they do it for none. Parliament resumes tomorrow. Melinda Howells, ABC News.